Woo! Buckle your seatbelts, grab your bomb, grab your koala suit, and get ready to roll. Get that dog leash too, because we're talking about one of the best trails in Reno, along with some of the cool things to do for families inside Reno, Nevada. Stick around. Hey, Logan Allen Williamson here representing Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. And the reason why you wanna do that is because this channel is gonna give you all the information that you need about what it's like to live, what it's like to work, what it's like to play, what it's like to thrive up in Reno, Nevada. I was born and raised up in Reno. I absolutely love it here. It's an incredible place to live. And I know that if you're considering relocating or even moving to a new neighborhood inside of Reno, you're going to need some information and this channel is where you get it. Please make sure you subscribe and I'll tell you what, I get people calling me from all over the world, certainly over in California, that are relocating up to Reno. It's happening constantly and I absolutely love it. If you're considering a move up to Reno, you've got to reach out to me. My information is going to be in this video or below. You can send me that carrier pigeon, but preferably write me a text, call me, send me an email. I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to learn about what you and potentially you and your family have in mind for the move. We'll find you a great house that fits your lifestyle. Now, in this video in particular, we're going to talk about some of the cool things that there are to do in Reno with the family. More specifically, we're going to talk about one of the awesome hiking trails in Reno that I think you're really going to enjoy. Okay, so you're looking at getting involved in the recreation up in Reno. I'll tell you what, Reno is a killer place to live. There's so much fun stuff to do. There's definitely gambling here. As you know, it's a gambling state, but gambling is not the only thing that brings people up to the Reno area. We've got jobs. The job market is growing. The housing industry is booming. We've got people that are building here. We've got people relocating from all over the world. And with that comes a long list of incredible and fun things to do up in the Northern Nevada, Reno area. Now, of course, everybody knows about Lake Tahoe. Everybody knows about the Truckee River. A lot of people know about the Reno Rodeo, but I'll tell you what, if you want more content like this and you want more content about what is coming up in Reno and what there is to do, make sure you hit that subscribe button on this channel and I would love to continue to provide value for you and bring you the information that you're gonna be looking for. We're gonna talk about a lot of the great hikes. We're gonna talk about the Truckee River. We're gonna talk about what's great to do in Lake Tahoe. We're gonna talk about accessibility to all these great places and we're certainly going to talk about basically what is safe to do in Reno, what things do you want to avoid, but just so you know, there's a ton of cool stuff that's going on. It's a great place to raise a family. Now, if you're considering um, getting involved in the outdoor activities up in Reno, I'll tell you, you know, there's places like um, Lake Tahoe, which is obviously world renowned and incredible. There's the Truckee River, which I spent my childhood uh, bebopping around on the Truckee, doing some casual floats and having some fun there. And, you know, if you are a hiker, I will tell you there are some incredible trails in Reno. In this particular video, we're gonna talk about the Hunter Creek Trail, and we're gonna talk about a couple of the reasons why I think it's just a really nice hike for maybe a weekend if you guys are heading up to look at houses, or if it's just something casually that you wanna do on maybe a weeknight once it starts to warm up. But by any means, there are incredible trails in Reno. The outdoor recreation and the views and the beauty is second to none. Uh, as being somebody that was born and raised in Reno, we used to ride dirt bikes out on the trails, which you got to be careful doing now just because of the urban development and the noise complaints and things like that. You always want to be respectful of other people. However, if you are into dirt biking, if you like to mountain bike, if you have dogs, if you've got a bunch of small kids and you like to put them in the bob or have them get out and get some exercise with you on foot, the trails are awesome. Okay, so one of the best and one of my favorite hikes up in Reno there are so many, it's gonna be hard to choose which ones to talk about, but specifically in this video, I'm gonna give you an option for maybe a hike that you could do on a weekend when you're just running up for a quick trip to look at some houses, or maybe it's something that you do on a weekend night if you're heading up for um, maybe a business meeting or something along those lines, if you just have a couple hours in the evening. But the Hunter Creek Trail is one of my favorites. Now, a couple of reasons why it's one of my favorites is because although it is seasonal, March to October, those are gonna be your, your peak months to go do this based on the Reno weather and the Reno climate, but there's a waterfall, which is killer. And it's it's absolutely a beautiful spot for taking pictures, for getting a family portrait. There are enough people on this trail. It's usually pretty trafficked. So there are enough people up here where you can definitely get an awesome photo, um, you know, depending upon the time of year and if you can get the lighting right, which we all know how that goes. Um, you can really take some incredible photos on this trail. It's very scenic. We call it a very moderate hike. 
Um, some people say it's a little bit extreme, but your elevation change is going to be about 1,210 feet. In my opinion, it's a pretty moderate hike. It's family friendly. Um, what you're looking at on this trail is 5.7 miles out and back. It's an out and back hike. You're going to hit the trailhead. You're going to hike out. You're going to hike back. You're going to want to go anytime between March and October. Those are going to be your best months to actually see anything and to not be freezing cold if there's snow or ice or anything along those lines. I would recommend you wear your hiking shoes. It can get a little bit muddy, but generally it's uh, pretty packed ground. And on this particular trail, you're going to want to note this is a dog friendly trail. So bring your pups, make sure they're on a leash. If you can, you know, be respectful, pick up after them. Um, but we absolutely love to bring our pups out on the hike. You know, they love it. They interact with all the other little dogs. It's quite fun. It's also horse friendly. So you'll see a bunch of horses out there. You know, horses obviously spook. So keep your dogs under control, but it's really nice to be able to go out there and share some of these trails with the local horse owners. It makes you feel like you're really kind of in the trenches with some of these, these beautiful animals. And it's a lot, it's a lot of fun, great experience. This particular trail is in the Toyoba National Forest. Um, as I mentioned, it's over in Western Nevada. And what you are going to do to access this trail is whether you're traveling north or you're traveling south on McCarran Boulevard, you're going to turn westbound on Mayberry Drive. Now from Mayberry, take a left on Plateau Road, take a right on Woodchuck Drive, drive all the way down to the end and at the dead end, that's where you're gonna find the trailhead. Now what you'll find out if you frequent this channel is that there's a lot of awesome stuff to do in Reno. As I mentioned, wonderful place to live and to, to grow a family, but I know that there's a lot of information you need if you're considering a relocation up to Reno or a move inside of Reno to a new neighborhood. This is the channel for you. As I mentioned, we are going to go through all of the great content, all the things there is to know about Reno, the neighborhoods to live in, the restaurants to eat at, the safety issues or the actual safety um, essentials that you're gonna to need to know about being up in the area. But overall, it's a killer place to live and I wanna connect with you. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, please give us a like, it helps the video out. Um, and make sure that if you are considering a move, you've gotta reach out to me, I'd love the opportunity to help you. My email, my phone number, um, all my information is gonna be in the video here. And go ahead and reach out, I can't wait to chat with you soon. It's gonna be a blast working together and we're gonna find you a wonderful home up in the Reno, Nevada area. Truckee Meadows is a great place to be. Can't wait to have you here.